Hey everyone, you might be wondering why the quality of this video is so bad. It's because I'm at an undisclosed location in Greece for my annual family holiday. I actually love coming to Greece, but I have to say there are certain things about it I don't like. I mean, A, I'm a fat Englishman, so it's too fucking hot for me. And I'm usually stuck in my man cave all day, so it's too goddamn bright for me. But I suppose I am in the middle of actually turning into a raw chunk of gammon, so Let's talk about some things, shall we? So you may have heard that the Young Turks are being sued for racial discrimination. Oh my days! <laughs> As reported by Variety magazine, TYT are being sued for racial discrimination by an ex-employee. So a former employee called Andrew Jones says that he was discriminated against and eventually fired for being black. Can you even imagine such a thing? happening at such a progressive news outlet. <laughs> it's almost like when you put out this sort of diversity progressive nonsense, when you make this the core of your company, the ideological thrust of what you do, you attract the sort of people that are going to accuse you of that anyway. Because, I mean, let's be honest, if there's one company that probably isn't racially discriminating, it's probably the Unturks. I can't imagine that there is actually any grounding for this at all. If this was a white person saying, I'm being racially discriminated against and I was fired because I was white, I'd be a lot more inclined to believe it. But in the case of a guy who's black, I really don't think so. We'll read on. Andrew Jones, a black journalist who worked for TYT Network for six months in 2017, alleged he was held to a different standard than white colleagues. Jones claims he was fired after he refused to sign a severance agreement under which he would agree not to sue TYT for racial discrimination. Why would you even need such a thing? I tell you, this is, this is why I would hate to live in that kind of world where this is actually something you have to worry about. He's seeking $75,000 from them, which honestly is not as much as I was expecting, but pretty nice work for six months there because of lost wages and, quote, harmed reputation as well as considerable emotional distress. The funny thing about this guy is that he has previously filed a complaint with the New York State Division of Human Rights in January with the same allegations. A guy who's going around extracting money out of various institutions on the dubious claim that they're being racially discriminatory against him and he happens to be a person of colour. Isn't it incredible how he just keeps finding racial discrimination everywhere he goes? It's nothing to do with the laws, the ideology, and the, the culture in which these people operate. No, 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 no. It's that they're all a bunch of racists. Real racists. This kind of, the kind of people who will literally say, black people, you are inferior. <laughs> Not my opinion. Apparently TYT's opinion and the New York State Division of Human Rights' opinion. Allegedly, they discriminate against black people. What do you know? What, do you, what a coincidence. According to his lawsuit, James complained to Cenk Uger about his perceived mistreatment by a manager, and Uger ignored all of the complaints and instead implied a threat towards the plaintiff, stating that his complaint about perceived unequal treatment by his supervisor could be a fireable offense in and of itself. Probably because he's trying to take you for a ride, let's be honest. You guys know me, I'm hardly likely to side with the Young Turks out of bias. But this guy has a history of filing these lawsuits, and I think that he's aware that he can extract money from these corporations by the mere mention of it. I imagine he's looking for a settlement. Jenk, of course, said that these were completely false. He said, of course we care a great deal about diversity in the workplace. There's your first problem. That is part and parcel of what we do and who we are. We will defend our records and not give in to baseless demands. No, but you are going to keep getting hit with baseless demands, Jenk. So apparently Jones's managing editor treated him unfairly in multiple ways compared with his white co-workers. I'm amazed that they have any white co-workers, to be honest. This includes denying him a travel budget, requiring different and shorter deadlines, demanding higher and ever-shifting standards for articles, responding more slowly and engaging in generally hostile behaviour. Stuff that's pretty hard to quantify. Let's be honest. When he spoke to David Collar, the head of HR, he made his complaints and apparently never heard from him again. He also says that Collar is publicly known for making racist comments. For example, referring to the less affluent black people in the South who relax on their porch on hot days as poor black people just hanging out in the heat. Is that racist? How is that racist? The Young Turks placed Jones on a probationary two-week evaluation period, period because he claimed he was told that Jones had failed to create any original or exclusive content. Well, that's definitely racial discrimination. It's not something to do with the work he's done. No, 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 no. It's because he's black. 
In addition, he allegedly failed to meet Larson's professional standards. TYT pushed for Jones to sign a severance package where he would waive his civil rights claims, receive approximately one month's salary and resign. Because apparently he was shit at his job. That seems to be the complaint here. But I mean, look, all I'm saying is, what's wrong with diversity hiring? What's wrong with affirmative action? How could that possibly be a net downside to a company? To the tune of $75,000. I don't think that the Young Turks were racially discriminating against this young black man with a history of filing racial discrimination lawsuits. I think that they've run into someone who's worked out that this is an easy way to make money. And this is what you get. You knew this was coming. How could you have thought that this wasn't the inevitable conclusion of making everything about race?